right now, I'm at the recently reopened 6th Street Viaduct Bridge. This bridge spans 3,500 feet. I know that doesn't make it the biggest bridge in the world, but it feels so massive. I can see why the city of LA was very excited when this reopened. Look at this thing. Look at that. Just to get some perspective. Now this bridge has been closed for six years. Six years in the making. Six years without the 6th Street Bridge. Obviously we have out here in LA plenty of other bridges to cross, but not nearly as iconic. The first 6th Street Viaduct Bridge was constructed in the early 1930s and I believe it first opened in 1932 and it closed down in 2016 and the reason why it closed is due to structural issues it uh, it had cracks in the cement and it was uh, deemed unsafe if a big earthquake was to happen. Sorry if I sound like I'm yelling, but I feel like my voice is competing with the freeway traffic. Right now, I'm standing over I-5, a very busy freeway that goes through downtown LA. Now the first bridge, the very first one built, is very iconic. People in LA really love that bridge. In fact, it's been in quite a few movies. Terminator 2 and Grease, just to name a few very big blockbusters. Now at this point, my voice is not competing with the loud traffic beneath me. I'm now over what appears to be kind of a warehouse district. And um, this bridge, it stretches across from Boyle Heights and goes downtown Los Angeles, which it takes you directly into the art district. So I'm crossing this bridge. You get some really gorgeous aerial views. They're just phenomenal. And you come across these gorgeous murals. It's just, it's fantastic looking up here. When this bridge was constructed, uh, they kind of built it in a way where it almost became kind of a pseudo jungle gym, we'll say. There were a lot of people actually climbing these arches. You can find videos on YouTube of people climbing up on top of these. So now, what they did, which is in a very good way to block people, but they're trying. They fenced, they, they put fences up. So I don't know what they're gonna do in the future. This is definitely not going to stop someone who wants to climb up there. But for now, I guess you could say they're trying? Sure, we'll say they're trying right now. When it, when it first opened, it, it, looked, it looked fun. It looked really fun, but judging by videos, it was pretty crazy, pretty chaotic. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this already in the video, but I'm gonna mention it again, that if you wanted to come here and see the bridge for yourself, you can come down 101 and there's a entrance for 101 and it also goes over I-5. If you are coming to see the bridge and don't know where to park, you can come right here to Boyle Heights. And it's on Boyle Avenue and Whittier Boulevard. Right around here, if you're lucky, you can find free parking. And by the power of editing, 
I have teleported over here to get more of a distant shot from the bridge. I love how these arches look in the distance. Now I might be speaking to the wrong crowd, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm speaking to you. But every time I see a lot of tracks together, it reminds me of that Schoolhouse Rock song, Conjunction Junction, watch your function. I, I am, I'm such a goof. <laughs> what I'm walking on here is a bike path. That's a spiral bike path. Kind of does a little loop-de-loop. -loop. It's kind of fun and neat to look at. I'm going to walk down it just for kicks. So what's really nice about this spiral little windy twist around here is if you go all the way down to the bottom, you go all the way down and it actually will take you to another path that looks like it takes you back up on the other side of the bridge. I have to say that this bridge is so unique looking. I, I actually really love it. Um, now, I wasn't attached to the original bridge. I wasn't here. I'm not even sure if I ever seen the original bridge in person. So I have no attachment to the original one. So it looks like I have come to the fork in the road and I was correct. My, my first initial thought was correct that if you come down this spiral bike trail, walking path, whatever you want to call it, you can either continue going down and I believe there's a bike, there's a bike trail down here or you can go this way and go up up over here hope that's in i hope that's in the shot but up over here and you can go on to the other side of the bridge it's incredible this thing is so massive and you just don't think about the the structure and the how the, the you know the whole bridge was built i mean six years six years to do all this that's pretty impressive I mean, look at this. I don't know how much of the old bridge was kept. I don't think any of it was. I mean, if it had cracks in the cement, I highly doubt the, uh, any part of the original was kept. So if I'm correct on that, six years. Very impressive. Don't forget, if you do come down here, to take the time to enjoy the incredible graffiti. I know not everybody likes graffiti. It's not everybody's thing. But I love urban art. I love, I love that kind of stuff. These beams are constructed incredibly. I mean, I, I, w I would have thought that the cement would have been the foundation into the ground. I'm not sure I, if I ever seen anything quite like this. I don't know if that, forgive me. Forgive me for my ignorance, people. I don't know if that is what makes this bridge earthquake proof. But nonetheless, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting to me. I love how uniquely designed these arches are. They kind of have a slight lean to them. This is the uh, pretty much the end of the bridge and what I'm standing over right now is the LA River. This bridge goes over I-5, 101, goes over a, a major train depot and over where Terminator 2 was filmed, the LA River. I'm not sure what side Terminator 2 is filmed on. Now, this is not a Terminator 2 video. So, uh, luckily for me, I don't need to know that right now. This is the LA River where Greece and T2, Terminator 2, was filmed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far and you liked this video, 
I believe you're gonna like this video right over here. It's all about me exploring, guys. All right, guys, if you like this video, click that video over there too. I think you're gonna like it, and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye. I got two bags of drugs and a bad reaction. Conjunction, junction, what's your function?